Hey guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, The Sacred Alchemist 1111. Guys, I'm your Regent Rain and I am here to do your daily reading for the collective. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So you are advised to also please take what resonates, leave the rest behind um, and yeah, just keep it moving. It's not about your gender or your star sign. It is about the energy as well, okay? So also, if you haven't already done so, please do like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell below the screen so that you can be informed by email once I've uploaded new content for you guys. Let's get stuck into your reading right now. I'm just going to be pulling for the Wisdom of the Oracle. Wow, first card already. What is this? I just, I didn't see it properly. Wow, deep knowing. I feel that was quick. I think that somebody may have been trying to tell you something that may not have been exactly true, but it was as if like straight away you knew something or somebody told you something and deep down inside, straight away you knew, deep down inside you knew. Okay, I'm going to pull another card um, from the Wisdom of the Oracle because that was like way too quick. <laughs> okay, let's just see. What other messages there are? Wow, okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to take these because this is quite... Mm. I think whatever it is, it has something to do with some kind of soulmate kind of situation. But it's as if this... What I'm sensing is as if either things are coming to an end because we've got the deep knowing, we've got the soulmates, we've got the building blocks, we've got the yang energy. But the thing is, it seems to me, this is um, card 43, 437. Okay, so this is about you being very connected to the spiritual um, realm and you're very deep down, you're very intuitive. Um, you are definitely led by your um your spirit guides your ancestors and soul family okay so nothing really passes you at all nobody can't lie to you because you will just literally read them like a book you'd read them to build you'd read them down to a t and you would just put them in their place okay but what i sense going on here this is to do with somebody that you know this is a soulmate energy okay and four and one is five five is about a change it's also to do with conflict okay um and struggles to kind of you know try to either keep things going but it's also to do the changes there is a change that's going on in this um in this energy now building blocks is um about you building rebuilding your life and it's card 28 2 and 8 is 10 10 is about completions okay so this now yang is card number one this is about a new beginning and it's funny how it came out with this right after the building block. So I sense that something is going to be broken down in order to be rebuilt between the two of you. Or you know that this is going to be where you are going to be taking action towards, you know, being by yourself. And basically, you know, you're going to be taking action towards just rebuilding your life, just moving on and rebuilding your life. There are, I know they're penguins, but there are two energies here. In the form of penguins but then there's just one person here okay so i do feel that there could be um a change in your relationship status um but i feel that what you what doesn't kill you makes you stronger okay but you it's as if you've suspected something for quite some time and um you know i just feel yeah it's it's time for you to kind of like make that decision to kind of like say, well, you know something, I'm going to just end it here, move on with my life. Or it's a situation where you guys are going to sort of talk, speak with differences. And then this is about you both now looking to take action to rebuild your lives. OK, so you just need to take whatever situation fits you most uh, the most and just kind of like go with that. Okay, I think you know deep down inside what's going on. You know. You do know. You know exactly which side that you need to go in. And I feel that it's, it's very quick as well. 
you instantly know exactly which side that you're on. It's like it, it's no, there's no time to think about it because deep down inside, this has been building up for quite some time. Okay, so let's have a look at the Queen of the Moon Oracle. What extra messages are we getting for the collective? Wow, you've got abundance. And this is card 38. This is the Hunter Moon. Um, three and eight is 11. Interesting. Hmm. It seems as if it comes soon after this. Because once you've taken action, you've got abundance that's coming in. And again, it shows that you're by yourself. And it's interesting to see that both these cards with these ladies seem to be a little bit similar. So it, it, it also reminds me of somebody who, I mean, this looks, reminds me of like a tower block. You know, those sort of contemporary buildings that you see in the city and they're just all the same, sophisticated prison blocks. But I see somebody that is out in nature. I see somebody who's sort of le left that lifestyle where it's all sort of bougie, you know, and looking really amazing, really glammed up. But then you've just literally just gone back to being yourself, being authentic, just really grounded energy. And it really does um, scream at me, Empress energy as well. So I do feel that really deep down inside, I don't think that you mind. I don't think you mind much. There's something going on where you both know that it's time. OK, let's have, get, get you another card. So, guys, I just went literally. <laughs> wow, balance. Balance. This is healing energy. This is about, I'm hearing routine. Um, so, this is could be where you're starting to get back into um, a sort of a regulative, um, regulative? A regulate. Um, God, sorry, guys. I've just literally woken up. So, <laughs> I thought I'd just start a reading straight away. Um, there's definitely some kind of regulation that is going on with you. You're regulating your routine. Um, things seem to be really going back to some kind of familiarity with you. Um, but definitely I'm sensing there's a lot of balance within your emotions now. Your intuition is getting a lot stronger. You're, because I sense that you're staying in your stillness, okay? There's a lot of fairness. Um, I do sense as well, because this is going to be you, Literally for a very, very long time, okay? If anything, for the rest of your life. This change that has happened when you took the action, as well as the change from your soulmate um, person, I feel that deep down inside, before all of this, you knew that you were going to be like this. You knew. You know, Mother Nature, um, really screaming out, you know, divine empress energy. You know, you're definitely in that that league. You know, you've you've known this for quite some time, and I feel that you're just happy to say, yeah, okay, well, let's end it. It's fine. It's not a problem. I don't think that you have actually spoken much with your person right now with regards to what's actually going on with you on the inside, or if you have, they haven't really understood. Which meant that there has just been like a breakup um, with, you know, a split in the path that you were both walking on together. Um, and again, I saw, um, as I was doing it, I saw 8 minutes 43 seconds. Again, um, the seven energies just coming, you know, screaming out at me again. Okay. Um, just one second, guys. Just one second. Oh. Oh. Hold on, guys. Okay, so about that. I'm just um just having a look and seeing what's going on. I'm just pulling another few decks. Um, the butterfly for life changes the numerology um what i want you guys to start doing is when i pull a card i was meant to get this out before when i start to pull a card from the numerology guidance cards <clears throat> this is about you focusing on that card number for the day and just sort of starting to work with the energy of that number and see how that goes um with you okay 
let's just pull a card from the butterfly for life changes we have got motivation you're I, I just really i just really feel that this all of this is after you've taken the necessary steps this is actually you're going to be motivated to really get into this Get in your abundance is going to give you so much more enlightenment, joy, picking up. And it's definitely something that you, you don't mind being on your own doing this, if you know, away from this person. I think it's as if you, um, what I'm picking up here, it's as if like, not to say you actually fell out of love with them, but the love, it kind of changed. Like you still have feelings for them, you still care for them, but it's more like brotherly or sisterly love, you know, because it's not that they're a bad person, that you just kind of split apart, it's not nothing really bad, I don't feel that they've done anything wrong, I just think that they just didn't wake up in time, and this is what kind of frustrated you as well, and you know, with regards to your situation, they just couldn't see things your way, but your journey is calling you to come out and play literally it's like come out come out from that you know situation you know being in that materialistic kind of environment is doing your inner self damage because you will be forever lost in that kind of material world but that's not you that's not your world this is really where you are so i've just pulled um my spirit animal deck because you've got a lot of animals around you and I want to see if I can get a message from the spirit animal and see what kind of, you know, if anything kind of connects here. Okay, I've got two. Okay, so the one I've got here is Lizard Spirit, card 38. Now, that's interesting because that's card 38 as well. And it says, dream the world into being. That's card 38. That's for your abundance card. And then we've got Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Number four. Number four is all about building strong foundations and building a very strong, um, stabilized security for yourself. Okay, perfect. This is what it's all about, guys. Seriously, this is what it's all about. And I mean, this is really exciting energy, really straight away. This is really, really exciting and an exciting time for you because I feel that you've wanted to break away for quite some time. But then it's like the lifestyle that you was living, it felt like you was just pretending and just going with it. But deep down, this is just like your lifestyle is gradually just fading away from you over time. It's just starting to die. Okay. So let me just have a look and see. This is going to be your card number. Complete. Mm, completion. You've completed a karmic cycle, it seems definitely completed something now that has literally now th this is why i just feel that you're not really sad you're, you're just really like okay well that's fine i'm no longer feeling any kind of pain anymore i'm no lo longer feeling kind of stress i think if you was the one that instigated this breakup i feel that you're you're more concerned um about or you would have been more concerned about um the fact that of how they would take it, would they sort of talk you back into staying with them? And I feel that that's what worried you, that that's not what you would have wanted, which would have ended up with you guys sort of arguing maybe and falling out that way and sort of ending things on a bad note. But I sense that it just feels as if something is going to end on a really good note um, with you guys. And also Nine is calling out to me to say about the um, Nine of Pentacles energy, um, Major Arcana the Hermit as well. And, you know, also the Nine of Cups. So this is really, um, you know, a time of real sort of abundance. I'm not sensing the, the Nine of Wands. If it's there, it's there. Um, maybe to so say that you, you're not giving up. Okay, but this is, you know, also a very humanitarian kind of energy as well. If you look up numerology and check out what this is, this could also be your life path as well. Um, life path number nine. Guys, please do, if you haven't done already, please do get into numerology because it really does help you with your daily life. Um, trust me, like with decisions, you'll see how it just seems to be so accurate, okay, with regards to who you are, what, you know, what you're doing right now with your life. Um, it just takes you on that journey, trust me, because since I've started to get into it, um, I really do work with the numbers a lot and it helps me, you know, with 
my decision makings as well and it just gives me that kind of extra boost that I need, the extra confidence that I need as well. Um, okay, let's just get these cards out for you. I'm just going to pull six cards, see what's happening. Okay, the overall energy we've got is the six of pentacles. So this again is about this energy of like this give and take, give and take, give and take. Or the fact that it could also represent like you getting like a little bit of a breadcrumb where you wasn't really spending enough time or wasn't able to give enough time to each other. And so on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Emperor card in reverse. So I feel that there was just a lack of stability, a lack of control. And I feel that this is something that really bothered you a lot because you've got the Badger spirit there, which is saying about being fearless and bold. And I feel that if this is your energy, it just really didn't feel like you would have been going anywhere. You'd have been just going down, down, down. And, um, it, you know, if you are a female um, person that's watching this reading, it would have been to do with your masculine side that needs to be in balance because, again, we've got this balance energy as well. So this is definitely about you, you know, your feminine and your masculine energies really sort of like standing out now. OK, so let's turn these cards over and see what we've got. So we've got the two of ones decision. Again, you're looking at you gazing out, looking at the, you know, looking at your plans, future plans, traveling. You know exactly what was going on. And you was ready to take action because you've already made that choice. Out of the two choices that you would have made, and I feel there was quite a few other choices, but you sort of scaled them down. The one that you're holding in your hand is the one that you're just going to strike and say, right, that's it. Okay. Five, coming out from the conflict and the struggles. The chaos, struggling to stay in a, in, in a situation that you've outgrown already spiritually, energetically. There's just nothing there anymore. Um, maybe this person is just like such a workaholic. I'm going to pull a card and see what's happening with your person. Um, to see like why this has happened. Like what's going on with them in their headspace. And are they aware that you're just leaving? Okay. Let me do that now actually. It's same for me to do it now. I can do it now. I'm not going to use the, uh, the cards because uh, I need them, okay, for, for your spread, okay? So just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to quickly get a deck and see what is up with your person. This is soulmate energy. Okay, spirit. Um, can you tell me a little bit about this soulmate energy person? How are they feeling with regards to this? What's, what's going on with this person? I'm going to pull three cards. Thank you. One. Wow, we've got the first card. So, I sense it was them that ended this, you know. Let me pull another. I feel they ended this. They knew. They knew it was coming. This is what I feel that you just knew straight away. They wanted to end things. We've got, yeah, there was no, there was no, there was no passion left. There was nothing. And I also see this as a, like, a, you know, starting over as well. It's like they wanted to start over somewhere else, you know? Yeah. No more waiting. I feel that th this was something that I feel that, okay, that I need to pull another. Okay, what is this? Yeah, I just sense that really what was going on here, okay, with your person um, was this energy of needing a new beginning because they've ended things now, okay? This is the world card, it's over, okay? And then we have got the Ace of Wands, but it's in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse as well, and the um, Four card is in reverse. So what I see going on here, they needed to end things with you first before all of these were activated to go bling, turn around, and then they would have been going on their journey, okay? They are also going and leaving. This is why I said it just felt that it was just you in this card, one person that was left in the building blocks energy, okay, there. Um, and literally, you would have, now, would, have, would have now been given the go-ahead by the universe to say, right, you need to start taking action for yourself, girl. You need to start getting with your life. And just keep it moving, okay? And this is where the abundance started to come into play. The balance, 
that you know you dreaming your um, ambitions into reality and being fearless and bold and then you would eventually activate your emperor energy okay right so that makes sense can i take a bottom of the deck yeah it's over it's over okay that really does make sense so it was them that instigated it in the first place this is why it was as if like you knew straight away instantly. I feel that when they said it to you, I, I feel that deep down inside you was really trying to suppress a like, yes. You know, that's what you felt in the inside. You know, like the page of ones vibe, okay? That you was going, look at that, you was going. Yeah, and they were going, you were going. Because the thing is, I feel that th there was just nothing really holding you back. If you have already felt that, the both of you feel that this mission that you were both on, because... It was like, yeah, it was a relationship, but it was also like a part of your soul mission. That has now ended. So it's now time. Yeah, the connection's weakened. It's it's weakened. There's no there's no strength there. And again, you've got your ace of pentacles. You both got your new beginnings. You both got your new beginnings. And look, the tower card, yeah, you instigated this move. The tower, the tower card in reverse was either you instigated it or they instigated it. So this was literally the universe in giving you both that time because you both put in your in the work that's where you both it wasn't like it ended bad it didn't end bad it ended the way how it, you both were sensible enough to say right enough is enough here okay dealing with two mature people that literally um I, and i can hear somebody say no it was bloody well you know there's another but um i feel that deep down inside that's probably how they made you feel but when things ended it ended amicably and it was like, yeah, because, you know, I just feel like, yeah, you know, bye, take care of yourself, you know, um, we can still be friends if you want. But, you know, this relationship, the love, you know, the intimacy is no longer there. OK, so I'm just going to um, see what's going on with this eight of cups and the tower. Because you're just literally just heading towards your abundance, your happiness. How was you feeling, seriously, in this uh, Eight of Cups? Because the time came, I feel that you both gave, it, gave each other adequate time, okay? You know, you knew what was going on. Yeah, the, what is this? The Six of Emotions in Reverse. So you're leaving the past behind. This is the Six of Cups, by the way, all right? So, you know, it's not really been... It may not have been that great, but you can't focus on that now. You really have to put this in the past. Put this person in the past. I feel that they were your past life soulmate. You both came together to do this job and then you've both completed this cycle. Because remember, you've got number nine, completion. Okay? So that's really like what's happening here. And with the tower cards, with the tower cards energy... Because I sense that it was starting to turn into toxic vibes. And that's not really what you're about, you know. That's not really how it would have how it would have gone down, really. You've got death, like that. Mm-hmm. It is over, girl. It is over. Mm. Wow. Okay, so this is literally... Um, but again, I'm not sensing... I'm not sensing anything sad, really. You know, it, 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 I just feel it just went... It's natural course. You know, this relationship ended naturally. And we've got the Ten of Inspiration. Yeah. Which is the Ten of Wands in reverse. Letting go. You've got lots of tens, man. You're letting go. Guys, this is what I've got for you. This is what I've got, darlings. Um, but at least that way you know exactly where you stand. Okay? You know where you're going. You know what's happening. And this is now, you're entering into like another cycle now, another chapter in your life now, where you are going to get your abundance, you're going to get your balance. And hun, I sense spiritual energies right now with regards to the journey that you're on. So, you know, there's a lot of things that's going to be coming your way, but this is just the beginning, okay? I feel that you had a peaceful ending and now you're having a beautiful beginning. This really feels exciting. And I'm really hoping that the person that you was dealing with, I hope that they're going to be finding peace and, you know, happiness as well. And by the looks of things, 
I do feel that they're going to be finding, you know, they're going to take a risk. They're going to just literally just move on with their lives. They, you know, they may be laying down their foundations as well, sorting out their, you know, some of their seeds, and then they're going to just be this happy-go-lucky vibe. Okay, so that's what I really hope and pray for your person. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this reading. I do hope that this is giving you some kind of inspiration and comfort. Um, I will be back with another reading later on. Today I'm, I've got to try and sort out the, um, oh gosh, I've got to do the November readings for the you versus them. I'll try and get those out of the way. And also um, I want to try and do another style of reading as well. Plus I've got to do Twin Flame as well, guys. So, oh, well, I mentioned about Twin Flame. Maybe this is about you heading in towards um, meeting your twin as well, okay? That's for some, not for everybody. Okay, guys, I'm getting off right now. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. And I will catch up with you guys later. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Peace out.